Hello and welcome to episode 55 of my Working with Todoist series. In this episode, I want to show you all the new features, or at least most of the new features, that came up when in this week's uh, update, which I believe the update is, let me tell you, I'm just looking up, this update is version 6.3.9. So uh, this one has just come out this week. So if you haven't updated yet, don't forget to get things updated. Now, the beauty of this update is it's actually quite a large update, particularly if you use Todoist as a collaboration tool. Uh, but you also get a lot of new features added to the iOS and I'm presuming also the Android version of Todoist. And to do is to promising that many more updates are coming over the next few months. So this is the first set of updates that we've received. And what I want to do is just run through some of the features that I found are absolutely fantastic. So let me start off with the first one. The first one is what is reviewing your history or activity log is what uh, Todoist is calling. To access this, make sure you're actually in the project that you want to review and click on the uh, tool icon and go to the view activity log. And in here, it shows you all the things that have happened inside that project. So whereas before it was like reviewing tasks, that you had completed, now you can see all the activity. So for example, as you can see today, I've changed a due date on a tickler file um, and it's telling me that I have changed the due date. Uh, it also will tell me if I've added a task, which I did, I added a task uh, here. So you, I added a task, it obviously tells me that I completed a task. I can also go into this and filter this by collaborator. Now in my tickler file, I'm not collaborating with anybody because it's my personal tickler file. Uh, so I can just have it set for me or in this case, everyone, it doesn't matter. I can actually filter what I am wanting to see. So I can filter actions, all actions, of course, uh, added tasks, updated tasks, completed tasks, uncompleted tasks and deleted tasks. So now we have this review feature that is really useful in our uh, desktop version of Todoist. And this obviously works on your uh, online version as well. Now, I have a, a project down here which I'm uh, collaborating on. It's not sorry, it's not in my someday maybe. It's in my uh, areas of focus. I have a, uh, for those of you guys who follow, are following this series, you will know about our uh, Facebook group. <clears throat> Uh, that I'm working with with Jay Miller and our productivity and tech fo uh, uh, focus group uh, project here. I can now there are it tells me there are two people collaborating. There's me and Jay Miller. So we have that in here. And what I can do is now when I look in my view activity log, I can see what Jay and I have been doing. So uh, I've got this set up for me, but I can click in here and everyone. And now it tells me Jay has done things, Jay's completed tasks, he's deleted tasks, I've completed tasks and so on. So this is really useful if you're doing collaboration work with other team members. And to add a person, now I'm gonna be really confess on this that I haven't tried this out yet, but let me see to add a person to this particular project, all I would need to do is click on the share options, enter the email or the name so I can type in, um, oh, I'll type in my company email address and I can send an invite to that person and that person will receive an email and when they open that email, if they don't already have a Todoist account, it will take them to open a Todoist account. And remember, Todoist is available online. So if somebody is being doesn't want to download the full version of Todoist onto their laptops or onto their phones or computers, they can just use the web version. They just need an email address and a password. So I think this is really, really useful for people who are using um, to do it. Now, just to show you what's happened here, as now I've invited somebody, I'm pretty sure that's gonna show up in, um, in, 
So what's happening here, obviously, <laughs> I've got my other name because that's there. Um, <clears throat> so uh, now I know that I'm waiting for Carl to, it set, sort of says up here, uh, I'm waiting for somebody, it, it's showing me that it's a shared project. Let me just double check on that. Uh, yeah, it's showing me two people. But what this is showing me is that I am waiting for a person to actually accept this invite and Carl is pending so he hasn't accepted because I haven't um, so this is making it so much easier to add people into your file now before we move on let me take you into the iPhone version because there have been some updates on the iOS version that I would really like to show you right so let's have a look at the new features on the iPhone and I believe this is also the same for Android uh, if it isn't, it soon will be because Todoist are running out all these updates over the next few months. So anyway, let's go into the biggest difference for me here is, well, let's start with the first one, is when you actually add a task uh, into Todoist now. So we click on the plus button and what you'll notice down in the underneath the add task words is uh, one two three four five six and seven new icons now we'll go through all of those in a few minutes but let me just add in a task so um no 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 always start a task with a verb uh so check out these uh new features okay so we have that now if i click on the calendar icon I can choose a date so we can say Monday done uh, I can check click on the label and add a label uh, I can click on the uh, project button and I can choose a button uh, a project sorry so let's go down to my uh, I go down to my single actions um, I can click on the uh, assign a task to a person now I don't have anyone set up in my uh, collaboration file but if I clicked on the icon of the people I could of this sorry person I could actually add the name of a person to do this task if I click on the flag I can click on priority and if I click on the notes section uh, these are really cool new features Oops features okay so um, all from that one little um, entry box I have been able to add in uh, a date a label uh, the project I want it to go into and I can put a, a flag and then all I have to do is click the airplane or paper airplane and bang it goes now this has not gone into my inbox because I assigned it a ta um, I assigned it a uh, um, a project so if I go into my project so I've gone into my I put that project in my single actions so if we go down to check out these new features here it is so I've got iPhone tomorrow and it tells me there is a um, <clears throat> A note attached to it so I can click on the note section and there we go it gives me Carl P as in my name and then these are really cool new features so that's the first one that um, I found in wonderful actually on the new it just makes adding tasks a little bit easier I don't have to remember the codes now let's take a look at another one and click on my today folder and if I click on the three buttons up at the top here uh, I can actually go into what's called the activity log now I haven't started much today but now I can go down my list and see all the things that I've assigned uh, and actually completed over the last in here in this case 11 days I believe I can go down even further yeah I can load more history if I wish but at the end of the day if I wanted to now I can just check very very easily on my phone uh, what tasks I have completed and I could actually click on this button up at the top right and I can filter by collaborator um, so I have a um, I'm collaborating on a couple of projects with Jay 
So uh, I could click on the J's uh, task and see which task that J has completed, etc. So this is a re I really like this in the sense that I can now actually quickly see what I have actually uh, gone through over the last few days or week. So those are the two main features that I have um, that we have now in iPhone. As I say, I haven't actually got much set up in collaboration, but this is all about teams and teams working together. And it is really, really good way of being able to manage tasks within a project that you're working on with a team. So get your team members signed up to Todoist. Okay, so there you have it. That's the, all the latest updates to Todoist. And I'm sure, like me, you will find the most all these new features fantastic. There are a few other features that I may not have actually covered in this episode. Uh, please take some time to have a read through the blog post that Todoist has put up there. It's full of all the new features, uh, notifications, and how you can add in all the functions. Uh, when you're adding tasks through your iPhone or your Android phone. Uh, it's all in this blog post. So please take some time to have a read through that. Uh, I'm sure you'll find some useful, uh, uh, useful tips and tricks in there. And please also don't forget to subscribe to our uh, Facebook group, the Productivity in Tech Facebook group. There are some amazing people in there. We've got Enrico Nela. We've got uh, Francesco D'Alesso. And of course, we've got Jay Miller and there are so many people in there who are there to help you to answer your questions, not just on Todoist or Evernote, but on many, many other things related to productivity. And so that now just leaves me to wish you all an amazingly productive week and I will see you in the next episode.